Fucking, uh, yeah, welcome back to Cringetopia. Today is the first episode of the creatively named Fallout Podcast, wherever the fuck I'm gonna name it, post-production. Uh, I am your host, uh, fuck it, what's my name? Oh yeah, Captain Cringe. Uh, this Bruh. is your other host. The fuck I'm, uh, Melodious. Yep. All right, hello there. I am, uh, I am your resident expert. I have a doctorate. Don't ask to look at it. That's beautiful. Oh, uh, I mean, something, something, a uh, fantastic joke about theoretical degrees, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, they ask if I had a theoretical, if I had a degree in theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics and <laughs> hired me. I saw the exact moment when you went, fuck it. Oh, my tongue slipped. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. You see, I'm allowed to uh, misspeak and misspoke because when I do it, it's charming. When you do it, you all look like a bunch of inbred idiots. <laughs> it's true. That's why I can never make mistakes. I'm, I'm never belt. wrong. I'm always right 110%. You That's know, fair. I thought that your uh, profile picture said Asgore for like two seconds. Oh, it does. If it's just below it. It says Asgore. Oh, fuck you. I know. I know. I thought I said at whatever. <laughs> what is that? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Let's. All right. This is Fallout. Yeah. This is Fallout. By the way. Um. First topic I think would be very interesting. Would uh be rankings of vaults in New Vegas, and all right. I would just say let's start off with what we consider the bottom one. Well, why don't we list all of them first? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, let's remember and remind everybody listing. So we got, there's vault, I think it's 22, is the, the grassy vault, right? Yes, the one that's yes. like infested, all right? We there's live vault in 21. the modern age. You don't need to guess. We can pull up a list. All right, all right. I mean, like, maybe, maybe they wanted us to show off our knowledge. All right, we'll look up vault. Show in the off our knowledge. I'm the expert, y'all are just a bunch of <laughs> Yeah, the experts are okay. the ones who saying to use Google. <laughs> Hey, look, it takes a wise man to understand what he does and does not know. <laughs> and I am the expert, and I do not know that. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, I got a list of all the uh, the New Vegas vaults. All right, all right, I'll, I'll, I can say them out loud. Go ahead, let's all, right. all right, we got Vault 19, Vault 21, Vault 22, Vault 34. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well, there's also the vault. one of the Vegas trip. I you think. also forgot Vault 3. It's Vault 3, Vault 11, Vault 19, Vault 21. Oh, vault yeah, you're 22, right. Vault 24, Vault 34, and according to this page, the Securitron Vault, which I guess technically counts, but it's not. Yeah, a yeah, vault. you're right. I forgot about Vault 3 and 11. I'm looking at like a, some combined list that like has them from just every pull game. Up. Just, just, just pull. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. No, I hey. can't use your brain. No, I'm just sitting here looking at a wall. What the hell do you think? Are you watching Paint Dry? Because, you know, most people know this, not know this when you're watching Paint Dry. Is yeah. that you need to be careful because <laughs> uh, you should never watch it. Uh, what was it? Time doesn't pass when you watch something royal or something, something you're about talking your about boils. vaults for like two right, seconds. And then vaults, immediately like, anyway. I really like watching Paint Dry. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, All right, so, so worst vault. vault. Mammoth, you go first. What do you think? All right, well, worst vault. Well, we got to go over it first. So vault three, that's the one with the fiends going unga bunga down there. Yeah. Oh. All right, so everyone knows that one. If you don't, that's the fiend one where they go unga bunga. That's all you get. Vault 11. Uh, let me go over it. Depression. Oh, that's, uh, that's the sacrifice one. Yeah. Ah, okay. All yeah, right, so vault depression. 19. Uh, that is the one that uh, was the reds versus blues. Yeah, the powder ganger one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vault 21, that's the one that, you know, gambling addict uh, addicts. Mm -hmm, the one with and, Sarah Weintraub, yeah. And, you know, Doc Mitchell. Vault 22 is the plant one. Uh, Vault 20. Wait. That's There's it. There's no link it? for Vault 24. That's all of them. Yeah, it's. it's, it's, it's uh, I'm on the same page as you. It's all, it's all grayed out. I assume it's, like, mentioned or something, but. Oh, you can find a jumpsuit that was... All yeah, right. cut content. Oh, cut content. Wow. All, All right. right, and then we got Vault 34, which is the, the oh, weapons yeah. vault where the boomers came from. Oh, yeah, the one where they had too many weapons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, worst vault? Yeah, go ahead. So, when you say worst, do you actually mean the best? Because if we're going down the list... Oh, shut the fuck up. You got All me right. for two All goddamn right. seconds. Let's, let's, let's calm down. Oh, but you're being <laughs> legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you want, no. you said let's go with the worst one. No, so we'll my bad. Yeah. One. That completely makes sense. Uh, completely the wor- makes sense. I, honestly, the worst vault, in my opinion, probably Vault Three, the Fiend Vault. It's got it's got literally nothing going for it. Uh, like it, it was literally just like a regular vault, and then it's like, oh, the fiends took over. The only two characters in there, I think there's like three characters with names. There's the NCR Ranger, you know, he's kind of interesting. There's Motor Runner, who has like, you know, a bunch of cut content related to him. So like, you know. In practice, he's got nothing going on. And then I think you could, like, save some people in a cage who then, like, you know, just disappear off the map as soon as you save them anyway. All right, but uh, there's another reason to go see uh, Motor Runner, and it's so that you can do the Great Khan's quest to delivering drugs. So you yeah, can yeah, yeah, but, like, that's it. That's the only that's the only thing he does in the game, if I'm not mistaken. That and, like, killing him for the, uh... For the, the NCR uh, bounty. The three card bounty quest. Ah. So you're saying that that is the worst, that is the most uninteresting. That's yeah, uninteresting saying. vault. Yeah. I feel like the rest of them got more going on for them that make them interesting. Aaron, All right. What's your take on that? I have to say that, sure. Uh, but the thing is, I would still want to go, you know, explore that vault. So uh, I think the worst one is actually Vault 34. For the simple reason, I don't want, I don't like going in there. I always get lost. I always don't know where I'm going. I can't figure out where the hell anything is. Yeah. Look, I understand that people like, you know, the, the, the stories of the Vault 34 and learning more about the boomers and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, trying, you know, and the quest related to it. But I just don't like going in there. All right. I don't care yeah. what you got down there. Like, I, I like New Vegas because it's, you know, it's haha. It's the wild west of robots and uh, robot cowboys. Yeah. And I don't want to. I don't want to play Fallout 3 again. If I <laughs> want to do that, I go to Camp Searchlight. Uh, honestly, I, I I was disagreeing with you until that last point. The idea that you don't want to just play Fallout 3 again with the rads everywhere. Because I actually, rad... I did like Vault 34. I thought it was fun because it was like a challenging kind of dungeon. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I, the, I think the fiends are like a, a, a really unfleshed, uninteresting like enemy. I mean, and then uh, you could argue, okay, well then Vault Thirty Four, you just got ghouls, right? But like the concept of it being like an armory vault, you could go in like oh, it's I'm really chock full of all this. Interesting, but I just don't want to go. We'll in go there. in there. No, yeah, he you, understands. You get though. lost easily. It's dark. At least with the plant vault, there's like a whole mission of going through there. What, what's, what's the mission for going into Vault Thirty Four? Um, you get the All American. Get the All-American, help out Veronica, and uh, the whole water purification. Well, you, you don't even need to go in there for that. I, honestly, I always get the I always get the Euclid Sea Finder, so I never even have to do that part of the quest. I know, but you also got to go there for the water quest, right, with the NCR. Well, well I you think do. He's just mentioning yeah. like quests that like pertain to it, not necessarily like what you have to do, but like what can like you know where it can lead you. Hey, vault thirty four is the wait. Is vault thirty four the vault with the uh, the the sharecroppers? Yeah, it's yeah. the radioactive one. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's that's really uninteresting, though. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I well, really like. I like it. helping people. I like how it's a whole unmarked yeah. thing. You got to figure it out. You got to do some detective work there, chief. Yeah, but like uh, the, the, that quest is so weird because like you think you're doing another just NCR quest and then it's like, oh, here's some people that you get to save and also like you never exactly. get to see them. Well, yeah, but it's like the train question. Also, if I can add real quick, um, I want to establish that when I rank these, I'm ranking them as like story, how fun is it to explore, and what does it add to the lore and the actual, all of that, like everything, like not just story. And those like, are your... Does your qual okay? What, what about you, uh, Mammoth? What's yours? What do you care about in a vault? Uh, honestly, I just it has. To, I don't like crawling down deep dark basements, or I follow free ruin that because I don't like you know the dark areas. I like New Vegas because it's very open, very you know, it's the wild west with robots and robot cowboys. That's what I like. So yeah, it has mm-hmm. to be compelling enough for me to want to go further. That's why I like the sacrifice vault so much. Because you start to learn more about it, you start to undercover what was going on, and the whole psychosis of the situation. And boom! You know, it ends with this little slideshow you get to watch. And it's like, slideshow. oh, that's pretty great! And then you find out that it was not necessary. So, actually, the reason why I didn't say Vault 34, because you were right, it is a little bit lacking in terms of lore and, and questing. Like I said, I didn't even think the quest that is in there is that interesting. Uh, I am a big fan of uh, gameplay challenge. And 
I don't think, uh, conversely to, to Vault 3, which is full of fiends, I feel like fiends are just, like, the worst enemies in the game. They, they are just so weak. They give you karma for no reason. I, I don't like fighting them. I think they're boring. Mm. But in Vault 34, because of the fact that it is maze-like, it has a lot of uh, ghouls in it, like, I, I feel like it actually is kind of like a, a challenge to get through, you know? I, I feel like you can't just go there at level two or three and stock up on everything you need like you, you won't be able to handle it well it also depends so, on what difficulty you're playing at like um if you could do that oh, with the fiends yeah. now your earlier point was um you could see someone making the argument that you're making about the fiends that they're just generic and shit i wouldn't really say that with the ghouls of alt 34 only because of the fact that like you know why they're there you know who they used to be they're not just some random ghoul they were vault yeah, dwellers. Yeah, they, they, most of them have the armor. You're right. Yeah, but if real quick, <laughs> just so I can get mine out there, I actually disagree with both, and I think the worst vault is the Powder Ganger vault. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. That that's up there for me. I think it also is pretty bad, but I I, I just hated Vault Three more. Oh, oh yes. sorry, yes. sorry. Yes. I, I hate to like right interrupt, thing. but like another reason why Vault Three sucks. Mm -hmm. If you ever played on console, that area of the map is the most prone to crashing out of any area of the map more than I new heard. vegas more than freeside it crashes just from even going near there i hate that place i never uh, people always say they had crashes right? when i played it around the you know the xbox three six days yes that's how i played new vegas the only time I, I only had problems when it like had a corrupted save that was it i never had a crash cr we haven't Amen. learned shit. We're still at a standstill. <laughs> All three of us agree on different. Well, let's agree to disagree. But I'm right because I'm. All right. Oh, wait, no, here's, no, no, all right. No. Here's the next question then. No, wait, wait. Would you say? Yeah. Would you say out of the three vaults we just named, the Vault Three, the Fiend Vault, Vault yeah. Thirty Four with the the ghouls, and Vault Nineteen, the Red versus Blue, would you guys agree that those are the worst three vaults in the game? I was going to say the same thing. Um. Because I wouldn't. I actually think that um, I think that Vault 34 is... I, I, I like it a lot, apparently. I think it's actually better than Vault 21. Uh, I mean, gameplay-wise, yes, I completely agree with you. Because, like, there's not really too much to do in 21. But, like, at the same point, the story behind it and the Lord Heads, I think it goes over 34, personally. I love 34 actually i genuinely do care about it but if we're ranking them off of quality i would probably well then that's a hard because that also adds to it 34 adds the boomers in there and a lot of other lore as well so that's a bitch yeah it's also where chris comes from everyone's favorite fuck you're right okay never mind yeah i put 34 over 21 mm -hmm. all right well, how about I you man uh, i still greatly enjoy 21 and I'm going to keep 34 uh, uh, far away from me because I don't want to play Fallout 3. That's why I don't like to go to Camp Search. Yeah, 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 of course, right, of course. So uh, I'm going to make a notepad so, for us real quick. Yeah, so so your, your ranking then would be 34 at the bottom and then 3 and I, 19? Or? Can someone read off the yeah. vaults real quick again? Uh, it's All right. 21. So, the, uh, so the Vault two. 3, Vault 11, Vault 19, 21. You should, if, by the way, and, and you could edit this out in post, you should, like, have this on the screen for people to see and, like, maybe just have, like, a, a, on the screen at the top or something, like, yeah. you know, what everyone's favorites are in order. All right, All right. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That's two, five. Hi, hi, hi. Six. Okay, so for number six, um... The Burger King for letters. So far, what are we agreeing? Because, like... Well, we haven't agreed on the worst. Yeah, but so fine. far we're putting 34 up, like, out of the two out of three thing. Because this is, like... Our, obviously, all our own lists are going to be three. different. Like I said, I think 34 is the number three vault in the game out of the best. So, you know, if you're doing one to six and one is the best, I'd put vault 34 at three. Well, we still have to get through. I was just saying, like, so we could go on to the other two. So, now we have to decide which one's worse between the Fiend Vault and the Powder Ganger Vault. And then, right, right. if you want to give your... I mean, you've already went in depth on your explanation. Mine is... Okay. I just feel like, um... With the Fiend Vault, obviously it's objective. But I feel like it actually is fun to go through. Especially if you like that, um... 
like bounty hunter kind of like role play um i think it's really good to like go through the fiend area in general and then have like the vault three be like you know the end goal like the magnum opus like you just wipe that a certain part of the map you get a lot of loot but to be fair i'm also combining like the three bounty thing which i shouldn't mm -hmm. so i'm not going to but let's just say we're just considering vault three i mean it's still a mission that's very high risk, even if you're low level. But to be fair, I also play on very hard with like a lot of other shit. Me too. Yeah, I, I play on yeah. very hard as well, by the way, and hardcore. Like I wasn't like trying to say like, oh, on easy mode, it's so easy. Oh like, yeah, I no, I agree with you. It just all depends on what your class setup is. But like, yeah, they have they have no armor. They have I, no armor. I feel like it adds. Um, I mean, it really adds quite a bit to the area, and I would say it feels like an accomplishment when you wipe it out. When you wipe out like um, other areas, for example. You know, like, the impact is said, but you can, like, really feel the impact of the fiends, because, like, they're fucking everywhere, and if you just, like, took down their capital. I think the emails and, like, dialogues and, like, just understanding, like, what it felt like for Control Vault to be completely overtaken by, like, them being too gullible by, like, an enemy force, I just feel like that's slightly more interesting than the Papa Hero one. Alright. Also, I, I look it up right here. Uh, mostly the whole thing was pinner, uh, paranoia was used not for chemical or actual means. It was just things were breaking down. Maybe there was like a high pitched noise all the time. Okay, so okay, so yeah, then it was subliminal. Well, then my thing with that is like I would say if the vault had like maybe rodents in it or something else. I feel almost like the powder gangers subtract from the vault's actual story. Interesting. I feel like they do. If they weren't there, I would rank it above vault three. Huh. See, I, I ranked vault three because I think that like, as, uh, as far as ranking the stuff goes, I think that vault three actually has more negatives than positives. I think yeah. that Vault 19, the Powder Ganger Vault, I think it's just so bland that it's neutral. But I don't, like, actively dislike it. I just don't think much of it. All right, here's what I'll do for you, then. Let's say we put Vault 3 at 6. And for Vault 5, yeah, you know, this is, like, all three of us. All of our owns are going to be different. This is just for, like, a community ah. thing. I would say 6, make it 3. And then 5, make it the uh, Vault 19. Yeah, it seems like all of us want to put Vault 19 at second worst. At okay, least. so I'll put uh, Mammoth. Do you agree with that or no? Sure. We're slap it on there. All right, slapped on there. And then, so sixth ranking is three, fifth ranking is 19. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then after that, I feel like it's between 34 and 21. Um, I think it should be 20. I think Vault 34 would probably between all of us go to fourth because it seems like you guys make some very good points for vault 21 mm -hmm. i think vault 21 is kind of sad because it, it i think there's some co content relating to uh benny there's like that there's that elevator in the back of his apartment that like uh you can't go right. in or you know it, you can get in it but it's like a glitch and then even if you go in it there's like nothing there yeah, yeah because bad. Mr. House filled the uh, bottom of the lucky uh... Uh, the bottom of the lucky 30 yeah. he got the wrong place contractors <laughs> fucked it up <laughs> I mean he is over 200 I can't even tell what I'm doing half the time <laughs> the man who will lead our country Mr. House <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about me for a second oh yeah <laughs> alright so here's what we have left we have 34, 11, 22 and 21 so I obviously don't think either like any of us want to put 22 or 11 like personally no. like below 34 the, 21 yeah. yeah so okay mammoth what's your opinion between 34 and 21 all right now uh so we did we skip over 22 yeah, yeah no we're not going in numerical order we're just like ranking them all right. at random. Well, 21 is a very interesting ball there's not a lot to do but you do get to the almerta you know the the star cross lovers thing oh yeah i forgot yeah. about that that's like their only you quest also, <laughs> uh finger of suspicion i think it's called no 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 no, no wait finger of suspicion is um the ncr camp mccarran quest with the monorail isn't it isn't that finger of suspicion is it i yeah. finger of suspicion oh, but you did oh accidentally remind me there's also a legion quest in there where vault 21 yeah what, what, what legion quest is in vault 21 
something with. Uh, see, that's the problem. Not many people yeah, play. Yeah, it's, play it's, for it's it. suspicion, dude. Yeah, it's the you get it. You uh, get um. You get a quest from Volpus to go to Vault Twenty One, and it's it has to do with uh, Omerta stuff. Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Oh, so wait, isn't Finger Suspicion the okay? Okay, that's what that quest was. Okay, yeah, I understand. Now. Together, you see, it's like poetry or rhymes. Yeah. No, I completely understand that now. Okay, so Vault 21 does have that. So I think we'll just go in like an order. I would put... Personally, I would put 34 over 21. Uh, what's your answer, yeah, man? 21 is an interesting place, but there's not a lot to do there besides helping uh, Sarah get the vault suits, finding the, uh, the little portrait of the parents from Fallout Tree. And you know the quest that they America does, because even though it's a vault that was supposedly filled with all the gamble people with gambling addictions, there's no uh, you can't gamble in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So but what's I think smell? the lore carries it by far. It I does, know, but the 34 lore, like 34 lore, really carries. Oh, sorry. I love how this implies that uh, Doc Mitchell has a gambling addiction. Yeah. <laughs> Because he was raised in a vault where they just gambled for everything. That'd be perfect. Where's oh, that? Open up. <laughs> Maybe I want to see like Doc, Doc, <laughs> Doc Mitchell was, uh, you know, taking bets on whether or not you'd live or die during the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone betted against him, but uh, Victor. Yeah, he's like, all right, <laughs> God damn it, whatever, fuck you. Uh, so yeah, I, I like I said, I said I put 34 uh, above 21, okay. but I definitely can see arguments for putting 21 there. Like I said, it's it's the lore carries it for me. All right, so it's, it's a good, it's cool. So 21 is going to be in fourth place. Are we cool with 34 in third place? Do we have any objections to that? Um, I, yeah. Okay, go. The mammoth ahead. said he didn't like it, so that's why I, I think his vote putting it at six brings it down. Wait, what are you talking about? He, uh, Mammoth that said that Vault 34 is better than 21. Oh, never mind that. Uh, I'm saying that because even though I don't like 34, 34 is still something you explore and you adventure. 21 is you talk to Sarah, you talk to some Amerita, talk to Allegiance uh, informant about yeah. it. Yeah. You have kinky sex about it. Okay, so, 30, <laughs> so here's our listing so far. Third place is 34, fourth place is 21, fifth place is 19, and sixth place is 3. Alright. Now, if there's literally only two left, and I have a feeling I already know which one you guys are going to pick, so uh, if you guys want to go first in either order. Uh, I actually I actually don't think it's so clear-cut for me. I think, like, as soon as you guys, as soon as everyone, like, hears about Vault 11, they think of, like, the first time they played it, oh, such a cool Vault, vault but... On replays, and the more you get into, like, the deep lore of New Vegas, the more you get interested in, like, NCR politics and administration and all that, like, the more interesting Vault 22 becomes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, I actually would say Vault 22, I, I used to not like it as much, because, like, it, it could be confusing to navigate, yeah. but I think the deep lore for, like, the super diehard Fallout fans kind of elevates Vault 22. Because it, it, it's not just like, oh, it's an NCR quest. Like, it's an NCR quest about, like, you know, the NCR's rampant, like, you know, overzealous uh, exploitation of technology. You it's know? also about morality and the caution of science, you know. Yeah, Is it exactly. right to this technology when others couldn't? But it could be a great use for it. Yeah, it's got direct parallels to old world blues through the small sport carriers. To everything. Exactly. And then, yeah, uh, it, and if we're going to talk you know, about the second heart, uh, what were you going to say now? Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say if he's gonna support say, say that for his support, then I'm gonna have to, you know, to make it interesting. I'm just gonna put all my horses behind Vault Eleven. Do it. Yeah. I'll... All right. Now. Go ahead. Now, plants and 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 you know, NCR politics and then you know, a political and scientific intrigue. Now that's all fine and dandy, but you know, sometimes you don't need an interesting political filler or you know, to understand the complex morality of a post-apocalyptic government. Sometimes. You just need to go on a little journey. What you didn't even know you were going to be on. And unravel a story you didn't even know there was. And slowly learn and understand the horrific and sort of disturbing story of this vault that turned on itself. Turning its own ideas about the very idea of survival 
uh, into this sort of horrific monstrosity, all poked and prodded by a faceless corporation, ending not joy, but a horrendous sense of melancholy. They finally stand up to the vault. They say, no more. Survival isn't worth it. And it wasn't even a problem in the first place. That is a strong yeah. ass fucking. Like, I would. It's like here's the thing. When you think of Vol, I don't know if you guys have ever watched a boy and his dog. I fucking love that movie. But like, when you see like that Vol, it's not like okay. So like, let's just listen real quick, right? Yeah, Vol Three. That's the fiends. That's something familiar. Nineteen Powder Gangers. Twenty one. It's on the strip. Thirty four. More ghouls. And it's still something familiar. Even with twenty two. As unfamiliar as it can be, it's still to an extent because of the enemies. But like with one, it feels like it's controlled, like it's in its own environment. Like you could take this and plop it into any other universe and it would be fucking perfect. You're right. I mean, and you also have the, the good point when you brought up the story. Like it, it's also an example of Fallout, of Fallout in general, but like especially New Vegas's excellent uh indirect storytelling like exactly. you can't see that story unless you're looking for and finding these hollow tapes mm -hmm. and even then you still uncover just by looting you understand what's going on mm. and then they get you interested you look around for more stuff and then next thing you know you're watching a nice little slideshow and you're heading literally towards the light yeah, and I agree with everything that you're saying, and that's why I said that's why the the, the main reason I put Vault 22 above Vault 11 is because it wasn't as good at Vault 11 in this area. I just felt that in the the deep lore it was better. Like, if you had asked me within like my first like three years of playing New Vegas, I would say Vault 11 was the best uh, vault by far. You know, I think that when you're jumping into Fallout and just like seeing what kind of amazing kinds of stories you can tell like that's what draws you in that that riveting story that narrative you described just now mm -hmm. but then the more you play it the more you realize that the people who made fallout like the pr the project creators at obsidian that they didn't just have an idea of, of let's do a bunch of cool vaults and put them in this game they said let's connect everything to everything yeah and they had an idea of this incredibly complex like you know socio-economic ecosystem you know they created the lore the world of fallout they they wrote books on this stuff and with vault 22 they tried to directly link it, it, it it's like it's like reading the lord of the rings trilogy and then reading the hobbit versus you know just reading the original lord of the rings mm -hmm. like you appreciate the hobbit so much more if you already are engrossed in like the full world and that's that's why I put Vault 22 above it, because th that's an example of what keeps people hooked on New Vegas for more than just, like, the three or four years after you feel like, I just appreciated a good game. It's the thing that makes people come back and be like, this is a masterpiece. This is why I'm still going to be talking about it 15 years after the fact. I agree with that, but I also feel like everything you just said, a lot of the same argument could be made for Eleven. Um, the problem with 11 and True. this one is that clearly they're two best vaults, maybe even, like, you could argue in, like, the actual fucking franchise, but, like, mm. well, I would argue 11 more than 22. Vault 101 is pretty good, like, yeah. you, I, I, I will give it that. <laughs> it's not terrible, I feel like, it, I feel like, it, well, we'll get into that conversation later, but, like, um, with 22... And 11 the problem is is that 11 is completely self-contained and a story completely carries it um yeah. other vaults are not like e i'm not even just talking about quest i mean just like the actual story of it if like mm -hmm. if you were to just exclude everything 34 like it's not even near close 11 none of them yeah are. it's just an armory but vault. yeah like 22 is a completely different kind of animal because it fucking affects everything so like you can go two ways with a vault like you know you can either go the 22 style or the 11 style and 22 also literally out competes it in gameplay and like intrigue you're like but it also just everywhere dude old world blues to fucking like honest hearts to mm. it just affects so much it's like a butterfly effect it's fucking amazing 
Personally, mm. if I was going just based off a of story and not on added lore, it'll be 11 every time. Yeah. I still do put 22 only because of, like, the stories that it made. Like, uh, Honest Hearts of Randall Clark. All right. And I, like I said, I agree with both. If I could tie them, I would. Because it's not just valuable. Like, I'm, I'm an older fan. Like, I've, I've loved it since it came out, Fallout. Yeah. So, of course, I'm going to talk about and gush how cool it is that it does connect everything. But to get here, I needed to appreciate Vault 11. Like I said, when I first did Vault 22, first couple times, I didn't like it. It was, it was annoying. Yeah. But I came to appreciate it. If Honest Hearts wasn't there, then it would be an easy 11 for me, personally. Mm-hmm. Because that's, like, the whole Honest Hearts fucking thing. Like, you know... But we'll get on to that in another time. Maybe even later on, right after this. Uh, Mammoth, you got any, uh... Got anything? Yes. <laughs> you can find rat If you have Wild Wasteland on, you can find rats of unusual uh, size inside Vault 11. That is oh, cool. interesting. That is all. That is, is <laughs> Alright, you know what? Vault 11's at the top. <laughs> All right, you win. I, I can't fight with that. Yeah, actually, okay. Yeah. So then he officially... <laughs> the house always wins during a day. <laughs> Apparently. All right, so the official list goes as follows. Number one, Vault 11. Number two, Vault 22. Number three, 34. And fuck everything else. I'm just kidding. Number four, 21. <laughs> number five, 19. And number six is three. All right, all right. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, that's the end of the podcast and shit. Um, that's fun. You should also make sure, like, when you post it or edit it, like, let people comment on it and figure out what we can do as individuals or as a group to podcast better. Fuck them. Should we should have said an outro. <laughs> yeah, you piece of fucking shit. I'm giving you a goddamn outro. You fucking All right, asshole. then. Thanks, thanks for listening. Actually, should I do it right now? <laughs>